Welcome back to Let's Play the Messenger. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time I got the last power seal and opened the chest to discover the Windmill Shuriken, which uh, continues to orbit me as long as I don't catch it. It's a bit crazy, but I do like that I seem to have unlimited ammo and that it recharges. Hmm. But do I take a brand new untested weapon with me on my uh, go on my go in my uh, attempt at the final level I think I'm gonna take the other ones you guys I don't know that's a bit anticlimactic to get the thing and then not use it so oh what the hell First. I know we haven't been talking much lately, but I just wanted to say thank you for all the interesting stories and all the help you've given me over the course of this adventure. Even if you were kind of snarky at times. I did not mean to do that. Uh, hi, sup. We just met, so I'm just gonna say thanks to the figurines. That was a nice cover. Okay. Here goes! Ahem, the music box beckons! Are you ready to face your last challenge, messenger? Yes, I am. I wish that didn't feel quite so ominous. Of course it's this tune. I was wondering what kind of music I would get inside the music box. Oh. Oh! Okay. It's unexpectedly pretty in here. Damn it. Ow. Fucking traffic. <laughs> You know, I can honestly say that after completing Castlevania Lords of Shadow, I never thought I'd play another game or I had to go inside a music box. Stopped, and then the stupid conveyor pushed me under. Oof. Oh, man. Yeah, that does make sense. Fine. Ow. No. What? I was not looking at my health there, but... What? What? Great. Why the hell does that, does it, that happen sometimes? 
guess it's because I wasn't standing on one of those save spots, huh? Shit. Oh. Well, alright then. Oh, I do like that. No, I don't like that. Death. Okay, I needed that. No. Nah. I just realized I was panicking. I needed to stop for a second there. Oh, Christ, I'm surprised that didn't crush me. Oh, that did crush me. I'm overthinking it. And I've only got three health. Okay! Oh, no, no, no. But still! Glad I still got you, Quarble. Now, if I had a regular shuriken, that would have hit him. So it's interesting that it's not just inherently better. It's just different. And, I mean, yes, the uh, other one does have limited ammo. But, you know, I get, uh, I get ammo upgrades. Upgrades, I get ammo drops from enemies. And... It, uh, refills my ammo every time I reach one of the, uh, the, the save points, so... Alright, you fuck, you ended my first run prematurely, and now you die! Okay. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn! Didn't even have time to complain that it definitely wasn't, uh, within the bounds of the steam the first time. Nope! God fucking... Doesn't matter, I reach this thing, I reach this thing! Hello, my friend! Well, this is it. Is this my last chance to take care of any unfinished business before the big ending? It's a frog's ass, watertight? I guess so? Precisely. Do you have any stories to share? One last for the road, huh? Why, of course, here's one for you. There once was a little boy stuck in a well. It wasn't really clear why he was in there. People assumed he fell while playing, or that someone had pushed him. In truth, he had jumped in there himself. He spent years in the well, wasting away anxiously, feeling utterly inadequate. He had a deep desire to share his ideas in the world, but shame having played such a big part in his upbringing, his will lay broken. That's why the well suited him so perfectly, a place to hide, where he could be alone with his stories with no one to mock or judge him. 
A safe life, unfortunately devoid of purpose, but at least shielded from rejection. One day as he was role-playing, a wanderer passed by looking down the well. A wanderer passing by looked down the well. Hey, what's going on down there, he asked curiously, intent on joining in with the fun. Oh, nothing. Sorry about the noise, the little boy replied. And thus the well remained silent for weeks. The wanderer, patient and compassionate, sat by the well for all that time. His mind was already made up. He would do whatever it took to get that little boy out of there, so that he could share his stories with the world. The creative flame in that little boy's heart refused to die, and eventually he started role-playing again. And so the wanderer very cautiously started interacting with him again, telling him that his stories were entertaining and nothing to be ashamed of. Their friendship built really slowly, built based on genuine interaction or interactions, intentions, and trust. A few months later, the wanderer and the little boy were sitting together in the well, laughing and sharing stories. The well became an increasingly habitable place, and passers-by started looking in. I think I'm not the only one who would like to hear your stories, the wanderer amused one day. I'm too afraid to climb out, the little boy replied. It's okay, the wanderer reassured him. Let me know when you're ready. Years passed, and the little boy's imagination becoming more focused, his thoughts and stories shaping into a concrete little world. And then one day he decided to take the chance. He would build this world and show it to everyone. The Wanderer helped him climb out. Merci, Philip. The little boy shared his idea as the creators of all crafts, and to his surprise they wanted to help building it. And so the small team was put together, and he officially became a writer. I wish I could tell you it all ended in fame and fortune, but I trust you understand it's not what this whole journey has ever been about anyway. Merci, Sylvain. Merci, Eric. Merci, Martin. Merci, Michael. Merci, Philippe. Merci, Jean-Luc. Merci, Carl. Merci, Savannah. Merci, Magali. I like that. That was totally the development's team, wasn't it? Well, thank you to all of you. Oh, I do like that it's right there in the store. Yeah! Oh, wait, if I throw that, I'll use up the ammo. I kind of want to go with the regular one. I don't know why. I went to all that trouble, and I kind of want to take the other one. Well, let's see. Oh, okay, I was just wondering if this is ever going to move. I'm just right here, so screw you. Okay, no potion this time. Another one up here. That's unusual. Hi, I'm in here again. I'm just checking. What was the cauldron for? I don't remember.
That was silly. Okay. Oh, god damn it. I was actually waiting for the music to kick in. do that in real life. The uh, pipes, of course, would be extremely hot. Why did you jump down instead of up? Did I, like, hit down as I was moving or something? Did the game interpret it as, uh... Wait, what if I change the music? I could, but I won't, because, you know, it's kind of the entire point of the area. Ah! Oh, right. I must have hit the uh, lantern there. Oh, I messed up that last one. Okay. Ow. Another door. Ooh. 
Oh no, the timer! I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Messenger, when I continue exploring the, uh, the music box and trying to find Phantom so that we can save the world once and for all from this horrible curse. Later.